Yeah! What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back, man. I'm back. I know I took a little bit of a hiatus, you know what I'm saying? It's been like a week or two since I posted an upload. Um, and I'm going to explain all of that in today's vlog, man. So... You see the title, you see the thumbnail, man. We got a lot to go over. As y'all can see, we don't have a code on the dashboard right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and roll that brand new intro that y'all love so much. Shout out to my boy Alex, his IG pops up on the screen right now. If you want a cinematic edit, a photo shoot, whether it be of your car, whether it be of you, whether it be of your girl, your dog, your kids, it don't matter. Hit up my boy Alex, man. Best photographer in the nation. No bap. And we are on the road to making my boy a videographer for real, for real. So let's go ahead and roll that new intro and we'll get straight into this banger, man. No bap. Yes, sir, man. So let's just start with the meat and the potatoes of this video. I ain't even about to beat around the bush or none of that. As you guys can see, our ugly friend has finally decided to lead a chat, huh? Our ugly friend has finally decided to lead a chat, huh? So basically, man, if you guys haven't been in the loop with all of the videos, you don't got your post notifications on, shit, you might not even be subscribed, man, then you guys wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So, let's do two things right now. One, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. That way, you're notified every time I drop a banger and you guys ain't missing out on none of this good content. One hour later. Now that you guys finally did that, yeah, I waited, you know what I'm saying? But now that you guys finally did that, y'all shouldn't be missing out on any videos, so I shouldn't have to do any recaps or stuff like that. Now, that being said, I'm still gonna do the recap for those of you who, you know, were just a little bit lost and hadn't been found yet. Um, So, basically, what's been going on is my car has been throwing a check engine light for the trashy control module. The code that it was throwing was P26C8. That was the code that I've been getting. Now, I currently work at Chevy. I am a technician at Chevy. So I have access to the Chevy computers. I have access to the Chevy parts department. I have access to a lot of things that, you know, the regular civilian wouldn't be able to access. That being said, I have done literally every single thing in my power to this car to try to get rid of this check engine light and fix my issue. When I say I've done everything, I legitimately mean everything. I've replaced the connector. I've replaced the actuator. I've done system relearns. I've done system resets. I've cleared the check engine light. I've reflashed the tune onto the car. Everything known to man, nothing seemed to work. Nothing was working. Now, as you guys may or may not know, if you're kind of, you know, in the loop about six gens and tuning and stuff like that, six gens Camaros have this thing called cylinder deactivation. Almost every Camaro has this actually. But on the six gen Camaro, there are actual valves that are put into the exhaust to help implement that cylinder deactivation. So what does that mean for me? <laughs> Basically, one of my valves decided to take a crap on me. And even though this was tuned out in my car, the car shouldn't even know that it had this system. It still was throwing a check engine light. Now, that being said, um, you, like I told y'all, I replaced connectors, I replaced actuators, I done relearns, I done resets, I done everything possible, and I was still getting that check engine light. But there was one thing that I had not done, and I'm not 100% sure if this is what worked and if it worked 100%. Now, this video right here is going to be a two-part video. You guys are going to be seeing this part that's taking place right now. 
of me, you know, getting off of work and doing what I did to the car to see if it would fix it. And then y'all are also gonna see another part tomorrow morning where I do start the car up and we see if the check engine light has legitimately gone or if this was just a temporary fluke and the car was giving me blue balls again. Now, what we did this time that was different, we actually did a reprogram on the chassis control module. Um, I went ahead and reprogrammed that joint. I did a relearn on the valves. I did a relearn on the MPP valves. I did, I disconnected the battery um, prior to that. I'm just letting you guys know everything that I did today to get us to this point. I disconnected the battery, had the car sit for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, then, you know, we did the relearn after I did the disconnecting of the battery, did the relearn, did the reprogram and took the car around the block, no codes, cut the car off, cut it back on, no codes, remote started it a bunch of times, no codes, driving the car as you guys can see, no codes. So as of right now, I think we may be in the clear because as you guys know, man, if you've been watching all the videos, this check, this check engine light would instantly come on. This car just be spinning these tires, bro. Golly. I think I'm going to go to a 315. I don't think the 305 is cutting it anymore. Y'all just seen that. Like, bro, this whole car just spun. Literally. That's crazy. I ain't going to bap. I, I don't know if y'all noticed that, but bro's brake lights definitely did not get any brighter when he was stepping on the brake. That was, that could have been bad. But anyway, yeah, man, Um, as you guys can see, we're driving the car right now, man. Doing a little bit of pool inch, man. Nothing too crazy. And it's holding up, bro. I mean, it's it's holding up for sure. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly like I don't know if I should be getting excited or if I should still be hesitant like I am. Because, you know, it may pop back on again. But who knows, man? Who honestly knows? At the end of the day, we don't have the check engine light right now, um, so I'm happy. We gonna see in about five seconds for y'all, but almost 15 hours for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video right here, and then I'll pick it up tomorrow morning, and we'll give this thing a code start in the new JI HQ. You guys actually have not witnessed one of those yet. So we'll be doing a code start in the new JI HQ, and then we'll see. Do I still have a check engine light? Or are we good to go ahead and get this new tune put on the car? Moment of truth, boys. Moment of truth. Hey man, I think we might be good, y'all. I think we might be good. Talk to that boy nice. Talk to that boy nice. You did. We back in action, baby. Let's go. Yeah.